Let's welcome Bartosz Bielenia, who plays the role of Daniel in um, uh, the movie Corpus Christi, uh, directed by uh, Jan Komasa. My name is Honorata, and um, I represent so Cinema Social Club and uh, promotes uh, Polish migrants organized for change. Thank you so much for finding a time for us for the short interview. Um, my first, first question is, um, what was it like to play someone um, Pretends the priest. Um, great fun, you know, because you can dive into the character of a priest. Um, priest. Um, when uh, there is no like the real weight of being one, because you're the one who's who's pretending, so you can kind of uh, crush and 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 change the social norms. So that was that was fun to do, and and very pleasing. And how did you prepare for the role? Was it like very challenging? Oh, uh, it was like a few months of preparations. Uh, we were mostly for, for most of the part. I was um preparing more for for like uh this the 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 part of my character who was a thug um and um and exploring that and that was uh harder for me because I was a part of the Catholic Church for for a very long time. And I knew it somehow, and um, the part of uh, of Daniel, which was like more um, unknown to me, was the part of uh, of his uh, criminal past. So we were exploring that more during the preparation. Great. And how did you feel when you heard that the film was nominated for the Oscar? Um, does this movie and director Jan Komasa? Um, give hope for Polish cinema? Uh, we never thought that it, it would really happen. Um, that's, it was a big surprise. We were pretty late to the um, award season. And um, yeah, so it was like a great surprise. Um, we we got the news like 6 a.m. Uh, because they, they, like, the, the, they say who was nominated super early in the morning. And so I got the news from my agent on a toilet, basically, because I left the room because my my uh, wife was sleeping. So I went to the toilet and I was like, OK, so what's what's the news? And she's like, yeah, you, you got nominated. It's like, yeah, awesome. Great. We got a brief um, uh, like a, mm, uh, FaceTime with uh, with the rest of the crew being really happy and the next morning we just uh we just had um champagne on the beach and that was it and we were celebrating till the oscars so yeah it was great and unexpected because we were really preparing a film for a polish audience and for the po polish market and uh just just went uh way further than we expected and uh do you like any directors um, outside of Poland with whom would you like to work in the future? Uh, for example, Thomas Winterberg, or um, or maybe do you like some British Irish um, directors like Martin McDonough? <laughs> uh, yeah, they they're very, very interesting. I I, I love Winterberg, uh, and uh, his the Druk uh, is one one of my favorite films for for sure. I love that. Um, but I love uh, films of Andrea Arnold, for example. Uh, she's amazing. Um, Alice Rovacher, David Lynch. I would love to. I would love to work with David Lynch, actually. And uh, Donald Glover would be awesome to to work with. Like Afro surrealism is uh, very interesting um, for me. So you know, meeting those people who are very creative, creative him as a musician, for example, and, and a director, it, it would be very interesting to, to have an opportunity to do something, but, you know, it's dreams. I wish you that, of course. I wish you that you uh, we will see you um, in some, like, uh, foreigner movies as well, and we will see you more. And uh, thank you once again so much for the interview, and good luck. Thank you, and thank you for seeing the film. <laughs>